Oh, good morning. Um, what are you doing on there? I'm just going to take my car off charge. It's been on charge all night. It's 7 a.m. I tell you what, I don't know about you, but I cannot wait um, for summer or spring to come so that when you wake up in the morning at 7 a.m., it's not pitch black. It's horrible, isn't it? Uh, let me just take this car off of charge and I'll be back because we're going for a little journey today. I'm going to tell you uh, what the car is uh, at the moment. It's charged to 100%. We've got so many miles to go to Stockton on Tees. We've got a charge along the way. I'm going to take you guys with me it's going to be a little bit of fun i'll close that charging point the good thing about this car is it's all pre-warmed for me so when i get inside the car it's nice and toasty steering wheel's warm uh, the seat's warm let me just let me just put this charger back and i'll come back to you don't go anywhere stay there Right, so we've got this, the Porsche Taycan. Uh, we're going to take it up to Stockton on Tees. Let's get in the car. Uh, we'll have a little chat. We'll look at what range I've got on it. And uh, hopefully it'll get a bit lighter as well. Because as I say, it's pitch black and it's 7am. Should be light. Can't wait for summer. Anyway, if you're new to the channel, don't forget like, subscribe. Click that little bell for notifications of when I upload new videos. Now, without further ado, my friends, shh, let's go. Right, my friends. Okay, so I'm in the car. Sorry about the lighting. It's a little bit like the uh, Blair Witch Project, isn't it? <sighs> uh, anyway, let me put that down there. So I've basically got 207 miles of range in this car now uh, and 98% uh, because I think I've just warmed the car up. That's took some battery. I'm basically now uh, going onto the sat-nav. I'm planning my route now to Stockton on Tees and I want 61% when I get there. The only issue we've got is... Uh, the route that it's taking you, the A1 has very, very few chargers. Now, this sat-nav, if you listen, it's thinking about it. The route was changed so that the destination could be reached. The necessary quick charging stations were added. Attention, the route contains a complete road closure. An alternative route cannot be recommended. So, that's the first issue that I've got now, because... Um, it's telling me that there's a road closure on the way and it can't give me an alternative route. So I think what we're going to have to do is we're just going to have to hit the road. Um, there's basically one charger along the way. If I show you this on the sat-nav, uh, in 66 miles, it's going to try and charge me up. And I need to do that for 18 minutes. So I'll just show you this look. And it's taking me to Weatherby, uh, 50 kilowatt DC charging station on the A1. Anyway, let's hit the road, see how we go. Uh, it's going to be fun. Stressful, maybe a little bit, but a little bit fun at the same time. So come on, onwards. My friends, quarter past eight, a little bit lighter, hopefully you can see me. I'm on the A1, uh, which is not my favourite of motorways, I have to say. Uh, basically, you've got all the little chefs at the side of the road, haven't you, that used to be little chefs, that are now uh, adult stores, mo most of them. Seems a bit dated, the A1. Anyway, that's a different story. Uh, we are down to 168 miles of range and 77%. And I've got another... 51 miles to go before I uh, hit my first charging point. Now what I will say is the point of these videos is I am no EV expert. I don't profess to be an electric vehicle expert. I don't profess to be an expert in electric cars. Basically the idea behind these videos are uh, this is my first electric car uh, and I'm learning things and I'm learning all about the EV world uh, and what it has to offer, the pluses, the minuses. Okay, we've done that before, the pluses and minuses, electric, we get it. Um, the drawbacks, the bonuses, 
uh, the costs, what it's going to cost you to own an electric car and running costs, etc. Uh, and we're learning together as we go along. I'm even learning from your comments in the comment section down below. So if you are new to the channel, please do hit that subscribe button. Join me on my journey uh, with this electric Porsche Taycan and uh, we're going to learn together. Maybe you're thinking about getting an electric car. Uh, maybe you're in the process of getting an electric car. Maybe you're wondering whether it's a good idea to get an electric car. Well, I've decided to keep this one. I mean, I will say I do love how they drive. It does have its drawbacks. Um, I mean, at the moment, basically, I'm now worried because the uh, GPS in this car, the sat-nav, which I'm having to use, because it routes me where I need to go uh, for an electric charging point is saying that the road's closed and I can't drive any further. There are no other ways to get there to get up to Stockton-on-Tees, to Middlesbrough. So that's slightly worrying, uh, I, as I like to use Waze as well, that tells me where all the speed cameras are, but have to use uh, this inbuilt one. Um, I know you're not supposed to charge it past uh, 80% below 30% I think it is tell me in the comment section down below and somebody said and had a valid point does that mean then basically that the, the rest of the battery is pointless um, I, the answer to that I would say is no when you're charging it overnight at home I have a, a charger uh, at my office and sometimes I stay at the office overnight so I charge it there like I did last night to charge it I've got an Anderson charger by the way absolutely excellent charger so and i'm not sponsored to say this i'm not sponsored by anderson chargers um but they are the best i'll put a link in the description down below to who fitted uh, my uh anderson charger absolutely brilliant it is and uh, i got down to when i got back yesterday i got down to i think it was i'd got 14 percent left uh, in my battery and I charged it overnight. It was charged ready this morning when I got into the car. Uh, and it tells you on the app basically what it's cost you. I'm, I'm with British Gas, by the way, unfortunately. Um, I think Octa Percentage is actually the best energy pro to provider to go by, but you, you, you can pick your own. Um, again, I'm no expert in that. It cost me £8.72 uh, to charge it, to charge the car. So it is incredibly cheaper to charge it at home unfortunately when you're out this car the Porsche Taycan doesn't have the greatest range in cars um, and also as well uh, we know the Teslas have a better charging network they have their supercharger network um, we all know that and people have asked me why do I drive the Porsche Taycan over a Tesla I like how the Porsche Taycan handles uh, I love this car, I've always driven Porsche, I've had Boxsters, etc. Um, and, and I like the way that this handles, and that's the reason why I've got it. We know that the Taycan, uh, the, the, we know that the the, uh, the Teslas can go further uh, on their range, etc. But uh, that's a different story, and you, uh, I'm going to try and get, if, if you're a Tesla dealer by the way, uh, I do want to try and test drive a Tesla on this channel, so do contact me uh, on my email address, and uh, you, which is in the uh, YouTube uh, details. It's ukmacmaster at gmail.com. Anyway, we're going to drive. We've literally, I'm going to try and stop for, if, uh, well, I'm going to stop in 51 minutes, which is 17, 17, sorry, 51 miles, 17 minutes. I'm going to stop, charge, have a coffee, and we'll have another chat. So uh, we'll see what that one cost me as well. So uh, come on, onwards, my friends. Right, I've got to say, uh, so 69%. Uh, that range left uh, and 150 miles but I'm totally totally confused because the, the charging points now disappeared off of there it's saying that the route contains a complete road closure and no other route can be calculated uh, this obviously 
the Porsche um, sat nav is trying to route me to charging points that is on its own network because I know somebody's going to say in the comments well you can charge at Scotch Corner there's some charging points this is trying to route me where I can use my Porsche charge card which is discounted uh, electricity charger um, so already I'm totally confused because I'm thinking right well that's now gone off and am I, do I just ignore this now or do I just go and see whether there are the charging points in Scotch Corner uh, and use my debit card because there's different charging points different networks like you've got BP and you've got Shell you've got you know Ecotricity and all, all sorts of different charging networks that you can use so slightly confused it's telling me there isn't a there's a road closure and I, and I don't know where else to go so I'm gonna have to find a charge point so I can charge up and then I'll switch over to my Waze GPS which hopefully will find me a route to get to Middlesbrough so it's and I know you're gonna get all the the EV fanatics who are experts in it saying that you know well there's a charge point here and blah 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 and they're gonna give me different reasons but it is slightly more stressful than just filling up and <clears throat> it's good to see the arguments from both sides really because you've got people saying well once there's so many cars on the road there won't be enough charge points and then the answer to that is from the EV electro heads are saying well when when petrol first came out there wasn't that many filling stations which is a good point so the more uh, and the further we get um, in years that let me just indicate to here the more advanced we get the, uh, there's no need to get back up my backside is the white van drivers are you watching are you a white van driver why do you get up my backside and everybody's back so anyway moving swiftly on come on overtake as we get further on there's going to be more charging points as there is more petrol stations and filling stations so that's a good valid point from that side as well anyway i don't know what this is doing your guess is as good as mine come on onwards Right, okay, so slightly annoying again because it's now taken off totally uh, my charge point. It's saying I don't need to charge up now, um, which is annoying because it's saying I'll have 64% when I get there, which is fine. That means I'll have enough to get back, but I'm not going back to the office. I'm actually going across uh, somewhere else, across country, so I wanted to have a little bit more charge. However, I can now go over to uh, an app when I get there called, I think it's called Zap Map, and that gives you different charging points and closest charging points around you. So um, if you've got any uh, suggestions as well, I don't know whether Zap Map is the best one. Do you find uh, another app better as well? Um, also, somebody said to me as well the other day on one of my videos where uh, I stayed at Premier Inn, well, you could have charged at the Premier Inn. Well, I could have charged at the Premier Inn, they did have a charger however you have to have your own cable it was a slow charger and you need your own cable to go into the charge point that's there and then plug into your car which you don't get uh, with the Porsche Taycan I don't know whether you get it with uh, other, other brands of cars I've no idea um, the chargers that I use have their own cables attached that you plug in same as the one at home so a lot of these places where they say they have charges at the hotels you've got to have your own ac cable i think it is to plug into it which i didn't have i think you can get them on um, in fact uh, that's a good question actually if anybody can tell me a link if you have one i want to get a good quality uh, i think it's an ac cable so if i do go to premier inn um see there's all these things that you've got to learn when you've got an electric vehicle because I'm thinking, well, I don't want to get the wrong cable and plug it in the car and then it 
damages my battery in the car because I've seen that on the Porsche Taycan forums they've used the wrong cable it's burnt the battery out is there a cable that you would recommend an AC cable I've seen them on Amazon uh, I don't want to get a cheap one that's going to damage the car and then again I don't want to get a really really expensive one that is just pointless and, and I'm spending too much money so all these things you have to take into consideration and, and you have to learn these things as you go along when you've got an, uh, an EV electric car so uh, yeah, slightly confusing but it, at the same time it is interesting and as I say that's what I'm doing I'm learning this and I'm hopefully taking you on the journey along with me as well so uh, and uh, we can both learn at the same time so any suggestions and, and you may know better than me you may have an EV you may have you may be new to it but you've had it a little bit longer than me pop it in the comment section down below and let me know come on onwards right so i'm actually at my destination now um I've got 49% left, uh, that's loading only. Um, I need to find a charge point. I'm gonna have to pull over somewhere. There's bus lanes everywhere here at the moment. I don't wanna get in a bus lane. Uh, there's a car park there, it's full. Um, because there's cameras everywhere. So I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to keep an eye out for cameras. Um, I've, I've put Waze on now, so I don't know whether I'm in a pedestrian zone here. I mean, it does pose the question, I guess, uh, on this one, um, whether are electric vehicles for short journeys only? Is it too early uh, to buy an electric car, an EV? Uh, turn left here. Um, it, there's a lot of questions to be answered where can I pull in? Is this a bus lane? What is the matter with stop? I'll pull in here. There we go. Now, what I need to do is I'll just pull in here. Oh, right. Hopefully. Do you know what? Driving nowadays has got more stressful, and it makes you wonder. And I can I can hear you all now saying, "Yeah, it is." You've got speed cameras. You've got bus lane cameras. You've got cameras in Nottingham now. Uh, for um, I'll pull in a bit more here because this is a wide car. You got cameras in Nottingham now. Even if you get in the cycle lanes, it's just stress, stress, stress. So it's one more added stress, isn't it? So uh, is it too early to buy an electric car, an EV? Uh, it, it's just I don't know. It's a bit stressful. So I'm going to get my phone out now. Um, because I'm down to 49% so it's gone down really quickly so it, it wouldn't even get me back uh, to my to my uh, place of work where I started from so I am going to have to get a zap map out is there any better apps are there any better apps to use than zap map I'm going to use that now and then that should um, find me uh, a place to charge up so let's have a look right so this is it we've got uh, that's zap map uh, which is gives you all the charges around you i'm going to use the one that is in starbucks which is 1.6 miles away uh, there's one in Lidl apparently as well which is a pod point some of the pod points you do need your own cable but there's a photograph on this one and it does show that there is a cable on it um, also the one at starbucks which is instavolt which i use uh, all the time over in uh, leeds there's an issue with one of the chargers so what i've got to do now is hope that there's nobody in the other charger using that one it says it was available one minute ago so and it's a 50 kilowatt charger so let's hope let's go there it's 1.6 miles away and get this charged up and see how much it is come on onwards right well <clears throat> now i've gone the wrong way i'm i'm how many bus lanes have you got in Stockton on Tees? Unbelievable. I mean, in fact, interesting fact, 
that some EVs and electric cars, so I'm told, correct me in the comment section down below if I'm wrong, but I am told that in some bus lanes, if you have uh, an ultra low electric vehicle, you can actually drive in a bus lane, but there's only certain bus lanes I'm told. Is there any truth in that? Let me know in the comment section down below. It's now 9.43, I've got 48% left on my car. I'm stressed out, I've got a headache, I need a wee. Please don't walk into the street. I'm trying to find somewhere to charge now. Um, it, obviously it wouldn't make it even back to the office, so. Uh, yeah, you, you have to you have to have a giggle, I guess, don't you? Really? Oh, another bus lane. Hang on. There's but everywhere. It's bus lanes, cycle lanes. Stress. The stress. Here we go. Turn right here. Can I turn right here? Yeah. Okay. I can. Durham. Isn't that where the Pink Panther came from? Durham. 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 Dur Never mind. I'm a little bit of light-hearted entertainment. I've got to see the bright side. <laughs> Come on, onwards. Right. Here we are at Starbucks. Now, one of them, it says is out of action and you can guarantee whichever one i go to it's going to be the one out of action uh, let's have a look i think that says fault on the one on the right so um and oh great what they do is on here as well this car's so low they they always put barriers at the end and there's a curb and the the spoilers that low on this car you have to put the suspension up just so it doesn't catch it otherwise because the leads on them aren't that long to pop in the charging point right um, I'll take you guys with us. Let's put, pop it on charge. See how much it costs. I'm down to 47% uh, and 104 miles left of range. I know you're not supposed to charge it up uh, past 80% because it's going to go slow charging after that. So I'm going to nip in and get a coffee. I'm going to pop it on charge. I've got an hour anyway. Um, I'm an hour early because I've set off earlier because I knew in my head I needed to charge up when I got here. Um, so, uh, oh dear, the stress, as I say, it does pose the point, doesn't it? When I'm at, ha when I'm at home or at the office or whatever, you can charge up, it's easy. Uh, are electric cars for short journeys only? Uh, is it too soon to buy an electric car at the moment with the infrastructure? All these questions need to, needed to be answered, really. Anyway, come on, let's get this done. Right, okay, so we'll get the charger. I think it's that one. There we go. You see, it's not the longest of cables, is it? So we'll pull that down, shove that in there. That's it. Okay, and now I'll climb over. There we go. And I just need now to tap my contactless card on there so car 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 Right, well, it's it's not charging. It says return to charger. I've tried to tap my contactless on it. Where does that go? It goes in that side. So I'll pop it back a minute. There we go. Right, to commence charging session. 
So what am I doing here? Connect, connect plug to car. So I'm doing that. Right, pop that in there. Right, I'll climb over again. To commence charging session, you've got to tap your card. Tap contactless. Well, let's try my contactless watch. It's not doing anything. Nothing. It's not beeping. Tap. Right, I'll come back to you in a minute. I don't know what's going on here. Right, so that one's not working. It's not accepting the contactless card and the other one's got a fault on it. So I'm going to have to get a coffee and go and find somewhere else. This is not working out very well. Right, okay, close that. Going to get a coffee. None of these are working. Instaval, pointless. What's the point in that? I'm going to go and try the... I'm going to get a coffee, have a wee, and we'll go and try the little one. 20 minutes later. Right, so, got my uh, my coffee. Um, now I'm going to go and try the chargers at uh, Lidl, which is on here. I don't know if you can see that on there. So I've got the chargers at Lidl there. Uh, we've got a 50 kilowatt charger and a 22 kilowatt charger. It says it was available two months ago, so we're going to go and give that a try. And the lady's trying the charger uh, as well over there in her car, and it's not working. Uh, anyway, hopefully this will work. It's now 10.07. I have to get charged before I go back uh, to, down to Mansfield to the office. So, I don't know. Let's go and try a little. Come on, onwards. <laughs> right okay so we are now at Lidl and do you want the good news or the bad news well the good news is there is a charger and it looks like it is working but there's another Porsche Taycan charging up and I can't charge up and there is one more point as well and more downside because you only get 90 minutes parking time in here and you'll get fined if you go over 90 minutes so if he's another half an hour to 40 minutes that doesn't give me time to charge up so <laughs> is it too soon to buy an electric car well i think you might have your answer i give in oh man well it's working i think because he's got one yeah he's got one plugged in by the looks of it so hopefully he or she uh is not too long anyway See you guys in a minute <laughs> right i've waited long enough i've waited 25 minutes there still nobody's come back for the car um and i haven't got time now where am i going here uh i haven't got time now to charge up because even if she did come back or he comes back even if they did come back i'm not gonna have time to charge the car because there's a time limit on the actual car park so what a stupid idea that is surely if you've got an electric vehicle there should be no time limit on there i mean i don't take any notice them invoices that they send you anyway you don't pay them don't pay them they, they never pay them no, they can't do anything um but it's, uh, that's another that's controversial that's another one i'm not telling you not to pay your invoices uh anyway so i wouldn't have had time i'm going to end up getting a letter through getting fined i'm now having to go to a third charge point now at, at porsche which is one and a half miles away um 
and go and try and charge up there it says there is one of two um, fast charging points at Porsche hopefully there is um, otherwise I'm literally out of options then for charging points I'm gonna have to I've got 45% left on the actual battery now itself um, and 101 miles so I'm sure I'll find one somewhere but it is just an absolute nightmare now. I've got to go 1.7 miles now to charge up. <sighs> we'll keep trying. Good job I got here early, isn't it? Come on, onwards. Yeah. <laughs> right, here I am. It's a Porsche's over there, but there's barriers. So my sat nav's now brought me to a car park the other side of where Porsche is. So now I'm gonna have to go back to the main road and find Porsche. Because <laughs> it's not like a, a petrol station where you can actually see, you know, you can see the canopy, you can pull in and then that's it. So, I don't know, see you in a minute. Right, ha, huh. charging points. Here we are at Porsche in Teesside. Hopefully now I'll be able to charge my car up. So I'll pull in here. Here we go. And these are fast charges as well. So hopefully these are working. You know what they ought to give you a packet of free lifetime subscription to anodin extra with uh, electric cars let's go and charge it up Tripping over that, tripping over that now. <laughs> right. Authentication, come on, please work. Come on. Please work, come on, please wait. in please wait ah there we go charging in process right so it's half past 10 it's 44 uh, percent well it's 10 36 uh it's 45 percent charge this is a really really fast charger i don't need it to be uh 100 percent i'm going to charge it to around about 80 percent which is where I'm told you've got to charge it to. Um, and then that should be enough. It's going up really quickly anyway. So uh, let's uh, see how long it takes. 10, 10.30, what are we on? Let's do it on digital. It'll tell me exactly what time it is then, won't it? There we go, 10.36. So we're on 10.36, 46% charged, 103 miles. Let's see how long it takes. Oh, have a coffee and a headache tablet. Later. Right, so stop charging. Okay, that's stopping. We'll take the uh, charger out. interesting because now I've unplugged it and it says system error charging station temporarily out of service gets better doesn't it right let's get back in the car right okay so we are now at it's 1103 
Uh, I've just been into Porsche, use their facilities. Uh, we're now at 93% uh, and 207 miles. So I've gone over 80%. Uh, I could have, I know it takes a little bit longer after that, but I wanted to use their facilities. Uh, so we now, and I went in and I did a little look around at some petrol cars, but I'm not doing anything. I'm sticking with this one. Uh, so we're going to leave it there. I'm going to unplug it. Uh, and I'll tell you in a minute when I've unplugged it how much it's cost me to charge that up. So stay with me. Oh, right. Okay. Well, kind of answers a question, doesn't it? For the uh, title of the vlog, is it too soon to buy an electric car? Uh, and uh, is it a complete nightmare? Well, there you go. Anyway, right. So um, let's get finish this off now. God, blimey, I've got a headache. Um, £27.52 for 320 kilowatts um, and it took 30 minutes to do that apparently so uh, there you go my friends uh, I hope you enjoyed this journey as much as I didn't <laughs> don't forget if you're new to the channel uh, Give us a thumbs up uh, before you go. It is down there. I do appreciate it. Doesn't cost you a penny. Also, uh, if you are new to the channel, um, hit that subscribe button because there's lots of content coming your way. I've got content such as cars, electric cars. I've got food. I've got travel, all sorts. I'm going to do a lot more of these videos uh, with the car because I do a lot of long journeys. Um, so basically, I'm going to see what it's like going on a long journey uh, and you can see the trials and tribulations of owning an ev electric vehicle electric car so uh, there we go my friends i'll <laughs> see you guys in the next one goodbye oh battery's running out on this i think it needs charging So I'm on the loo now waiting to charge my Taycan uh, in Porsche and it really couldn't get any worse, could it? No toilet roll. <laughs>